Hello everyone, the title of my video is Sometimes Pulling Doesn't Win You The Tug Of War. I have no financial disclosure. Many a times while operating a case of vitreous macular traction, by pulling at the vitreous, we end up developing a full thickness macular hole resulting in a central scrotum to the patient. So here I present a case of a 71 year old lady with no systemic illness. She had a history of macular hole surgery done in her left eye few years back. She complained of distortion and metamorphosis in 6 months which was progressive. She was pseudo in both eyes. A pre-operative OCT showed a tabletop traction at the fovea with a vision of 6 by 12 and 10 and the other eye had a closed macular hole. A standard 25G pass plana vitrectomy was planned. After core vitrectomy, priamcinolone was injected to stain the vitreous and careful dissection of the vit posterior vitreous was done around the macula to prevent any undue traction at the area of the VMT. The cutter port was always kept away from the center of the macula to prevent any traction there. 360 degree truncation of the vitreous was done to, sep to separate all vitreous attachment from the center of the macula and around the ONH. Careful induction of PVD was done on the nasal side of the ONH prevent traction at the macula. After truncation, it was found that there was another layer of vitreous which was still present underneath and so that was dissected too before we started trimming the area of the vitromacular traction. After making sure all attachments of vitreous are separated, then the area of the vitromacular traction was approached and trimmed. After this, peripheral vitrectomy was completed. After completing vitrectomy, fluid gas exchange was done and the ILM was stained with brilliant blue green dye and ILM peeling was performed using a ILM peeling forcep. In this particular case, the ILM was peeled across the fovea center. However, fovea sparing ILM peeling is recommended to avoid full thickness macular hole formation. Thank you.